Hey guys, so today I am doing a modeling casting makeup tutorial because this video is surprisingly one of the most requested videos I've ever had on my channel, which to me kind of surprises me because I'm like, okay, casting, don't really wear that much makeup, it's probably like the most basic makeup I could possibly do, but a lot of you are really curious about what I personally wear when I go to castings, so that is what this tutorial is going to be today. It's just this super simple look. And then before I actually get into the makeup part of the video, I have a couple of announcements to make. So some of you may be wondering, what was that video that Jessica put up on Friday doesn't have any explanation other than a comment that she put in the video. It just kind of like happens and it's a weird video. So basically what it is, is it's a art calendar that will be shown at Art Basel and it is a collaboration between the photographer David Bellmere, Steve Shaw, and Treats Magazine. And the opportunity in and of itself is to promote the female form as a piece of art and that is something that inspires me so much because it's something that a lot of us forget especially myself that you know our body is art you know so many of us look in the mirror or look at other girls and say like oh I hate this about myself I wish I could change this if only I could do this or had this on my body but very few of us stand there and say, wow, I'm proud of this, or I love this. And look at the things that make us unique rather than our flaws. So within this whole project, there is this like social contest, and it's supposed to sort of bring awareness to the project, but also get you guys involved in who you want to see within the project and the calendar. The link is in the description below if you guys want to go vote. It is once a day that you can vote up until September 17th. And I forget what time the voting closes on the 17th, but it's like in the evening or midday. So it's not like till midnight that night. So make sure that you get your votes in. I've been like texting my mom every day like, Mom, vote! Don't forget today! <laughs> And I probably will be doing that on like Instagram and Snapchat every day. But I just, I can't even believe I'm in second place right now. I was in first place for a little bit, but I'm like not even mad at second place. That's so much more than I was even expecting. Uh, so I am just feeling very, very blessed. I feel like there's so much good energy and I'm sending out all of my good energy to you guys as well. Just in life everything. I'm feeling very good right now. I feel like good things are happening. Now that I've talked enough about that, you're probably maybe wondering where I'm filming or that I just like painted my wall, but I'm actually in my new apartment. I moved. I'm still in New York City and I cannot wait to sort of start getting ready to film in here better. I finally feel like I have like a nice living space to do things like morning routines or just like things around that aspect because I love watching people's morning routines, night routines. So if you guys are interested in any of that sort of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Oh, I wanted to say too, I'm talking so much at the beginning of this video, don't hate me. My voice is a little bit weird today because I have a sore throat. I apologize if I'm not like as peppy as I can be sometimes or I don't know silly because my voice is like <sighs> enough of this talking though let us get on to the actual tutorial what I've been liking to start out with lately is this Givenchy Mr. Radiant bronzer it's sort of like a bronzing gel and I actually really like it. It just adds a little bit of warmth and a little bit of color to your face, especially when you're on the pale side. Like me, I like to just add a little bit of warmth. As I mix it together, it's turned brown rather than like a clear gel. And then it's just like a light layer for a little bit of warmth. After that, I like to go in with sunscreen, especially since taking the subway, I'm walking around outside a lot and just going back and forth to different places. I always like to have sunscreen. So this is the Cover FX Clear Cover Invisible Sunscreen in SPF 30, and this is absolutely my favorite facial sunscreen. It almost feels like the Smashbox primer, like the Smashbox Classic primer, um, but there is that like just faint sunscreeny smell. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on. My face is really sucking it up today. 
So after that, I like to put on either a tinted moisturizer or some sort of very light coverage foundation. A lot of times I will use my NARS tinted moisturizer, but I'm currently out of that, so I'm trying to work through products that I already have. So I am mixing two products today. I'm using the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. And this one is in the color Sand, and it's a bit light for me. So I'm mixing it with the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade 4. I'm just going to click a bunch of this out. I just click it until I can see it in the tip there. Put it on the palm of my hand. And then I do just the tiniest squirt of this because this is a lot thicker than I actually want to be using. I really like the consistency and sheerness of the Sunshine Skin Tint. But I do need to like darken it a little bit because my face would be looking extra pale so I'm just going to put a few little drops in here and then just mix it together and put that all over my face and this is just like a light little bit of coverage just to cover any redness and smooth out your skin a little bit but still let any like freckles or anything show through that is it for face. Sometimes I'll put concealer on, but not typically. I almost always do my brows though, even if I'm not using like a tinted moisturizer or anything. I just, I always do my brows. So I'm using the ColourPop, ColourPop, I'm using the ColourPop Brow Color in Dope Taupe and my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush, which is like falling apart as you can see here. I use this constantly and it just gets like banged around everywhere. And so typically what I do with this is I take some of it onto the brush, put a little bit onto my hand so that there's just like the tiniest bit of product on my brush. And then I will just start at the bottom here. And I'm really only going to be focusing on this part because I have a hole there. Kind of just brush a line across the bottom very lightly because you still want the brows to look natural. You're just like filling in anything that needs to be filled in basically. And then I like to drag just a tiny bit of the product into the corner there. I did my brows a little bit heavier than I normally do them today just because I don't have any casting. So I'm just going for a little bit more brow. So after I fill the brows in a bit, I like to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I really like to make my brows kind of messy with this, which is kind of like counterproductive. But it creates that really natural brow look rather than the sort of like Instagram brows. I literally just use upward brush strokes when I do this and I used to do the upward brush strokes and then brush it down but I kind of just shape the brow to make it look a little bit bigger and if I need to like I have to today I want to put a little bit more extra product in the middle there just to make sure that it is filled in Alright, so those are brows, and then I'm using my Becca Beach Tint in the color Guava. This is my go-to for the longest time. I just get a little dollop on my finger, rub it together, put three dots on my cheeks, the rest of my lips, and then sort of rub it in. And I typically won't do this, but occasionally I will just for like... A little bit of brightness on the face but I have this ColourPop Lunch Money Super Shock Cheek and this is a highlighter and I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheekbone. Alright so what am I forgetting? Eyelash curler. Where are... where are the eyelash curler? Oh I was still filming that whole time. Oh dear. The last step. I didn't think I was going to be able to find this but it was right in my purse. Super easy to find. So, last step I always like to do is curl my lashes. Alright, and that is typically it. Occasionally, pretty rarely, I will put on mascara. And one of the mascaras that I like to use for castings is this, I think it's Tony Moly, um, Holy Deep Mascara. Uh, two times volume. I think you can get this at Urban Outfitters, but it's this teensy, teensy little tiny brush, and it's really great for just clipping the ends of your lashes just to add a little bit of length and definition without actually making you look like you have mascara on. This is probably the most makeup I will ever wear for castings. Sometimes it's a little bit less. 
occasionally a little bit more if they request like to wear makeup but I won't ever really put on eyeliner or eyeshadow or like thick chunky mascara thank you guys so much for watching this is the finished look just something super simple and easy and even you could use this as just like a natural everyday makeup tutorial I wear this a lot of days to be honest with you please give this a video Please give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know any requests for videos that you might have or letting me know if you've voted and please hit that subscribe button if you're not already. It is always greatly appreciated and I'll see you in my next video.